Hey guys, it's Jules here, and today I'm going to be doing this kind of sparkly safari look for you. And basically, it's um, some gold with some brown and some green. Just a pretty neutral smoky eye, but neutral sparkly. So not a lot of colors, but it just looks mysterious. So yeah, to get started, I already have... Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Sin all over this lid, and I actually chose this because I couldn't find my Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I have no idea where it went. Um, my room is like a black hole. Just things get lost all the time. Um, so, And also this is sparkly too, so it works perfect. So I put that all over my lid. And next we're going to just be taking a big blending brush. This is just Studio Tools janky. I don't have nice brushes. <laughs> they actually work fine though, so whatever, not tripping. Um, I'm going to zoom us in. Might be a little too close. There we go. Just kidding. <laughs> so we're going to be taking Urban Decay, my famous box, and this is, let's see if it's going to focus. This is half-baked right here, this gold. And I actually love this gold. A lot of people are like, worried about golds because they don't think that they're pigmented enough. If you're worried about that, you need to get half-baked because it is the best. One of the best. So we're just going to take this on a blending brush and just put this all over the lid. Just bring that up to the crease. And the reason I use gold on a blending brush is because it is really pigmented that you don't really need that much pigment and so this just kind of helps get a nice even coverage because this is kind of going to be our base. Alright, next we're going to be using just a regular shadow brush um, and we're going to be taking Twice Baked, What Do You Know, which is right next to Half Baked. Sorry about my janky nail polish. And it's just like a brown with some like orange or so sparkles. I think I've done a look really similar to this before, but I was watching this video by Jazzy Baby Cakes, who like I love watching her videos, and she was doing a gold look, and this kind of inspired it, but this is like a lot darker. So just put this in the crease, clearly, it's really dark, but after you just place that in that crease, you can come in and just blend it out. And you want to blend it up, but don't blend it too far because we want to keep it um, mainly on the lid and in the crease. And then once you've done that, <coughs> excuse me, um, we're going to take this same color and bring it onto our lower lash line. If you have to go get some more, go for it. And just about halfway across. All right, now we're going to wipe this brush off. I hate it when I get some in my eyeball and it looks really creepy. And we're going to be taking another Urban Decay color, and this is Mildew. It's really cool. Oops. This is just not focusing today. Maybe I have to zoom out a little bit. All right. So this is Mildew, and I'm just going to take that on that same brush. This is a really nice, uh, like, army green color. And we're just going to put this all over that gold that we had right here and blend that into the brown. But you want to leave that inner corner. You want to have that be the gold. Just having the gold underneath this just gives it some warmth because this is kind of like a bleh color. I don't know. So just dust that to about three quarters of the outer lid. And blend that in with that brown. All right, so then we're going to go back and just take a little bit of Twice Baked, which is that brown, and just really 
accentuate that crease over the green because you want to have the green kind of blending in. Sorry, I'm trying to look at my mirror. You want to have the green blending into the brown, but you still want the brown to be prominent and kind of make sort of a, um, a winged shape of the lid. All right. My voice sounds really croaky. So next, we are going to take my new eight gauges. Do you like them? Thanks. What do you know? Mildew eyeliner. <laughs> so this is the same green color, but in the eyeliner form. So we're just going to put this in like the middle of these two colors. So see, there's a little bit of gold fallout from when we put it there. So that's going to highlight the inner corner. So you just want to like mix the brown and the green. Just have a nice middle color. All right. And now we are going to take our eyeliner. My friend still has my favorite water eye, like waterline eyeliner that I bought specifically for my waterline. I don't use it for anything else. So, I'm just like screwed. I don't know if I should go buy another one or like I don't know, I'll see her soon. So we are going to take some gel eyeliner, or cream eyeliner, this is high intensity pigments. And can I just say, some people have been telling me that it's not good for the waterline. I use it for the waterline all the time, and it works for me. I'm wearing it right now. It never runs, never smudges, and actually stays on a lot better than like Zero by Urban Decay, which is like my second most used waterline <coughs> eyeliner, sorry. Um, so, I mean, if it doesn't work for you, then don't use it, but it works for me. Thanks. <laughs> so this is just like a crappy eyeliner brush. This is a, from the Physician's Formula eyeliner, like, I got like a little box set of cream eyeliners, and it came with this brush, which I like because it's not an angled tip. It's, um, rounded, so it's good for the waterline because it doesn't poke your eye to death. Just smudge that on there. All right. And now we are going to line our upper lash line, but with another brush. This is a good angled brush from Maybelline. Woo! Cheap brushes. And we're just going to take that same eyeliner and just dab it. You just want to dab. You don't want to get a whole bunch of product. We're just going to really thinly line this here. Let me zoom in so you can see how thin I'm lining this. So you just want it to be a very thin line so you don't block out any of those nice neutral colors. But once you get to the end, you're going to want to go from the bottom and kind of try to make a wing shape connecting the bottom waterline up. So you can see this is kind of a curved wing shape. And you just want this to be pretty subtle so you don't have to um, extend it too far. And so we're pretty much done with our look. Oops. I'm just going to close this up and if you want, I actually forgot. I'm kind of slow. We're going to take 88 color palette this uh, neutral, for me, for me neutral, um, color right here, and we are just going to buff out the shape a little bit. Not needing it too much, but just especially highlight that area as well. So now that we're pretty much done, we're just going to pop on some mascara. This is Maybelline Volume Express. And yeah, I'm out of time, but thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later.